Hello, Africa. My name is Eunice Tony, and this is ETV Ghana's African Women's Voices show, the show that tackles issues pertaining to women as they contribute to national development. Wow. On Sunday, the world celebrated World Malaria Day. Well, I use the word celebrated because it's also a day to say that um, we are beginning to zero in on malaria, and a lot of us are doing the right thing to chase malaria away. And we need to keep up the good work that we are putting up out there against malaria. Malaria is taking the lives of women, men and children and it's taking away the lives of able-bodied people that would have contributed to national development. So how well did you remember the day? Did you remember to clean up your surrounding? Did you remember to, you know, tell people about reasons why they need to use mosquito treated nets? Well, if you did not, well, it's not late, okay? You can still let people know that they have to be conscious that malaria is around. And if they do not carry out the right practices, they are still likely to be able to get themselves involved with malaria. But to actually remember this day on ETV Ghana's African Women's Voices show, uh, we decided to go meet a midwife and a TV personality who is going to be talking to us about this day that we are all talking about World Malaria Day. So um, I'm going to connect to you right now. I believe you're on standby, Stella AJ. She is a midwife and a TV personality who will be taking us through what we need to know about malaria. So over to you, Stella. Hello, everyone. Good evening. My name is Stella AJ. I'm a registered midwife and TV personality. Before I start my discussion, I want to thank Miss C and her production team for granting me this opportunity to educate the general public on malaria in pregnancy. So uh, I'll be going through some questions over here. And the first question on my list is, which gender or what gender is mostly affected by malaria? Well, um, most often we have categories of people who are at higher risk of getting malaria. The first group is children under five years. Children under five years have weak immune system or the immune system is still developing so they can't fight against malaria infection. And also the agents who have weak immune system to fight against malaria infection. The same applies to pregnant women, but then there are other factors that comes into play when it comes to pregnant women. And we are going to discuss it later in our conversation. Then the last group of people is people with hemoglobin AA. It is believed that because um, when you are bitten by a mosquito, the parasite goes directly into the liver, stays there and reproduces itself. Then when it reproduces itself, there's an outbreak of the parasites into your bloodstream that's when you start experiencing the side effects of malaria so when it gets into the, your bloodstream it targets the red blood cells so it moves to the red blood cells and capture it it destroys it and you that's when you experience all the side effects of malaria that is the headache the chills the feverishness some people experience joint pain and general body weakness but when it comes to our pregnant women what happens is most often uh, aside from their low immune system the parasite is able to harbor in between the uterus or the womb and the placenta when it harbors over there as time goes on there's release of the parasite into the bloodstream then the woman starts experiencing the side effects aside from that pregnant women most often uh, attract attract mosquitoes and this is also known as the pheromones so what happens is it is believed that they, 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 they exhale or they breathe out a lot of carbon dioxide which attracts mosquitoes also they have higher temperature so if an unpregnant woman is sitting by a pregnant woman mosquitoes will be attracted more to the pregnant woman than the non-pregnant woman well Thank God the WHO is having measures whereby Ghana Health Service is also following the same protocol in order to curb the outbreak of malaria. 
Then the first on the list is the insecticide mosquito net. Most often pregnant women are given insecticide mosquito net to sleep in in order to prevent mosquito bites at home. The next one is the intermittent preventive treatment. That is the administration of SP or the serving of SP during antenatal clinic. SP is a prophylaxis which works directly or try to destroy the parasite that harbors in between the placenta in order to prevent the outbreak or the release of the parasite into the into the bloodstream of the pregnant woman so that's how it works and what we mostly do at the antenatal clinic is when you visit us the first um if you are in your if if you are carrying your first pregnancy we expect that by 20 weeks you start feeling the movements of the baby then if you are carrying your second or third pregnancy we expect that by the 16th week you start experiencing the movement of the baby so once you start experiencing it you, you will take your first dose of the sp then from there you start taking it every month every month every month so let me remind you in case your midwife forgets to administer your sp during your visit kindly remind her about it so at least you need to take a minimum of five doses before you deliver aside from that we can do our best in the hospital but when you get home and you don't practice one or two things you can equally be bitten by a mosquito which will increase your risk uh, of getting malaria infection so the first one is we need to clean our bushy areas we need to also cover water reservoirs we need to uh, wear protective clothing when we are stepping outside of our homes then we if depending on where you are staying you can also have a trap door over there and let me remind you sleep in insecticide mosquito net to prevent uh, mosquito bite before i leave I want to remind all our pregnant women of this. If you get malaria and it becomes complicated, it can affect the health of your unborn baby. You can experience premature labor. That is, your time wouldn't be due, but then you set into labor and you give birth to a premature baby. You can experience still birth. You can experience low birth weight. Your baby's weight wouldn't be normal. So these are the few things that I want to remind you of. Then, let me also advise you not to self-medicate. Don't sit in your various homes and treat yourself once you get malaria. Most especially our pregnant women. What we mostly do in the hospital is the medication given to a pregnant woman in her first trimester is different from the medication given to a pregnant woman in her second and third trimester. So once you get malaria or once you experience the signs and symptoms of any abnormality, go to the hospital. They are going to run some tests on you and they will administer the appropriate medication just to prevent drug resistance or any other complication. Misty, once again, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And I also thank your production team as well. So keep watching Africans Women Voices and keep watching ETV. Until then, please try to stay healthy. Thing you said is well noted and I want to believe that all who were also listening have been able to get something new and even those who already knew the information are going to abide by it. We're going to be going for a quick commercial break uh, but just before we do that I would like to acknowledge my sponsors on the show and first on the list is Chana Shito. Chana Shito is Ghana's number one pepper sauce. So if you haven't tried Chana Shito, I need you to do that right away. Try it with any food at all and you will definitely enjoy it. You know sometimes you have visitors over in your house and uh, uh, the food is not really spicy as you want. Take a little bit of chana shito and add to the, your food. I'm telling you that the taste will change. Okay. I also want to acknowledge my clothing sponsor, 
who else are Farewa Styles? Our Farewa is making me look really good. And I'm really enjoying what it is that she has done for me today. And Mother's Day is coming. I need you to give that special woman in your life an Afariwa Styles, you know, gift voucher. You can locate Afariwa Styles on Instagram and on Facebook at afariwa.styles. Or you can give her a call. Her number is right now at the base of your screen. And my hair, I am loving it so much. I will, thank you for making me look this good. I'm getting good comments and I'm going to be re reading them very soon. I really appreciate all that you do. Our sponsors, Thank you so much. And if you're yet to get here, or if you're yet to come on board the African Women's Voices show, I need you to really do that right away. Lizzie's Tomato Mix is one tomato mix that you should never forget whenever you're preparing your jollof rice, your stew, your ben kwan, your nkaten kwan. Please use Lizzie's Tomato Mix, okay? And you will never regret you did. I'll link you up to the commercial break. When we return, we are going to be discussing how to choose the right software solutions. You want to do that, right? Okay, after this break. And you're welcome back to ETV Ghana's African Women's Voices Show. If you just joined us, well, you've missed a little bit, but not that much, because we are now delving into the topic for the day. So on our social media pages, we made you to understand that we're going to be bringing you someone who could help us to choose right when it comes to software solutions, because there are so many of them out there, and it can be Herculean to be able to identify the one that you want. So that's why today we said, let's bring Na Ayele, the marketing manager of Shri to come and help us make this decision. Nayele, you're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you too to for here. also honoring the invitation because we know that things are really, really fast paced, you know, at, uh, at Shrink, but you made the time to be able to come with us. Of Thank course, you. Of course. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so let's just delve in quickly. Software solutions. When people hear software solutions, is it something so complicated? Could you let us understand in the simplest of terms? Do not use IT <laughs> technologies. Make it very simple for us. Let's understand what it means to have a software solution. What does it mean? Um, so the very simplest understanding of a software solution is that it is tied to a technology tool that enables you to perform a particular task. Mm. That is basically it. Oh, nice. Okay. So now that we understand that it's tied to a technology tool, um, what scenarios will be playing out in your life or in your business that will make you decide to say, I think I need a software solution? Okay, um, there are several s scenarios that can play out for you to um, opt for a software solution. Um, what a software solution is doing in, in essence is that it takes over recurring um, tasks of your everyday business processes. Mm -hmm. So... Um, for instance, um, I am into real estate development and I have a project I need to complete in three months. And I have a budget I'm working with. But then I realize that every time I'm on a project, I run out and I go way overboard my budget. Mm -hmm. um, in that case, you would need a software solution with a budget and tracker to help you so that you stay within the budget and you are able to make profit in that business. Okay, amazing. <laughs> so uh, for someone who doesn't really know how this software looks like, what is it? Is it a machine? Is it something that you have to pass through a USB cord into your phone? How does the software, what, what is it? Or okay. is that algorithm? It is, actually. Okay. Um, it's just, a, like rightly said, um, it's an algorithm and it's a series of instructions that is given to a device to perform a particular task. So um, it is intangible, but then the results of that um, code or that instruction is usually seen when, um, for instance, um, I enter um, a short code and then buy credit. Mm -hmm. The result of that code is me getting the credit for my airtime. Wow. Okay, so people, let's ask her this question because we know that there are a thousand and one software solutions and uh, options out there. But to be able to know which one exactly will be working for you is not going to be very easy. And I want to believe that there's actually no perfect way, but there are other things that you could consider that could help you to um, actually identify the one that will be working for you. 
So the question we are asking myself and my audience are asking you right now is help us or talk us through how to be able to make this choice, you know, for what kind of software solution will be working for us. Okay. Um, so for um, you to be able to pick the right software, you need to understand exactly what you're looking for. Mm. You need to find the problem in your business that you need that solution to fix. Okay, um, first, you need to know what problem you need that solution to exactly, fix. Exactly. So identify the problem. You need to identify the problem. Once you identify the problem, you search for, you do your research. You need to do your research and see the one that best fits your business. Um, there are certain solutions that can be bought right off um, the shelf. Um, note that those kind of solutions will not be tailor-made to specific business um, processes that you may have in your mm. business. So it's more organic or general? Yes, most of them are generic. But if you have a particular problem that you need to work on, you need to look at those that um, tailor-make um, solutions that will fit your business. That means that you need to get a business analyst to talk about it um, so you understand exactly what you are going for. Okay, so is there any other thing we need to identify when we first of all identify the problem? Anything else to consider? Yes, um, you also um, need to consider if that particular software is going to meet your business needs and your business processes. You need to look at budget as well because you need to, you don't have to blow or go way overboard your budget to get um, a solution to a problem, just one problem. So you need to consider budget, you need to consider your staff um, so that they are equipped for the system or the solution that is coming in. Oh, amazing. So after we've identified the problem, we have to find out whether what is available, maybe over the counter, is suiting our business need because yes. we've got quite a number of them that are just, you know, generic, you could just insert it, but it doesn't really work specifically for exactly. your business. So what that happens is you end up paying for a service that you never really use a particular function, but you have paid for that service. Unfortunately, we do that with our phones <laughs> yes. all the time. Because <laughs> I don't think I use every aspect of my phone. Exactly. I haven't really explored it to really use everything. And that's what happens when you make this kind of decisions around your software solution. You need to be able to identify the problem and exactly. also get to know whether this is going to work for your specific needs. Yes. After which you need to consider the budget, money matters. You need to know whether it's going to work out for you in terms of how much you want to spend. Yes, on how it. much you want to spend on, um, on that solution. Um, yes, that's basically it. Okay, yeah. so now that I have identified the, the problem and I would need uh, to actually talk to the experts, you know, to help me because I don't want to use generic, you know, solutions. And, uh, well, I have got a kind of budget that I want to use. How do we, you know, deploy this on my system? Is this something that is done remotely or you've got to get people who will come in with various kinds of machines into my office or into my space? How? How do you do this? Okay, so um, that also depends on um, the kind of infrastructure the business has. Um, there are lots of organizations that um, prefer to have the solution hosted on their devices, i.e. computers and servers and all their hardware. Mm -hmm. Some also don't have that infrastructure, so they opt for um, the cloud-based um, system of software so it's hosted on a series of um, servers or server farms that are on the internet so basically you have a storehouse sitting on the internet for you instead of in your office and on your devices thank you very much Nayele <laughs> people will go for another quick commercial break Nayele is the marketing manager of shrink and uh, she's been able to talk to us so far how to be able to identify what kind of software solution we need and may, may be working for us. When we return from this break, we're going to be finding out from her whether Shrink, where she works, actually takes people through coaching. Because it's one thing for them to come and put this all on your, in your device and then another thing for you to know how to use it. So we're going to find out from you if you do some kind of coaching. When we return, do not go away. And you're welcome back to ETV Ghana's African Women's Voices show. And we are discussing choosing the right software solution 
for your business. As usual, we always like to acknowledge those who are watching us on Facebook from all over Africa and the world. You've always been there to inspire us. Okay, I've got some comments I'm going to be reading. I see one comment from Unebu Nma Christiana, and she says, this is so inspiring. Evelyn Sefako Wula says, very well said, Nai Ayele, and I see a lot of you waving at us. I see the first wave right here from Ghana in Tamale. I see your wave. Central region, I see you waving. Good. I also see a wave from Accra. I see another wave from Sunyani. Wonderful. And I see that uh, Gloria Achiram is watching. Los Antonio is also watching the show. Thank you so much. And uh, let's go over beyond um, Ghana and see who is waving at us. Okay, Ezinwan Ne Okereke is waving at us from the United Kingdom. I see Cheloko Koye waving at us from Newi. And I also see another person, what's her name? Lovina. Lovina is waving at us from Lagos. I see another wave from the United States of America. You are Anastasia. Thank you so much for sending your wave. I see another wave from Togo, and that's Patience. Pashians, how are you? I see you waving all the time, and you've been very consistent. Thank you. I also see Selassie. You're waving from Togo. Nice and wonderful. So I'll still come back to our Facebook page to acknowledge you some more. Uh, those of you who have not acknowledged yet, please be there. I would come back to you. But I reminded you earlier that we were talking about how to choose you know, the right business solution. And the person here with us as guest is Nayeli from Shrink. And shrink is spelled S-H-R-I-N-Q. So the kind of shrink we're talking about ends with a Q. So if you go on to any social media platform and you type in shrink, it's going to pop up for you. So now, shrink is a company that's it's into uh, software solutions. Tell us how good an IT company you are. We want to know. Okay. <laughs> um, so first of all, I'd like to say that um, we are a product house. Um, we do software development and then we do bespoke um, software solutions for various enterprises and businesses. Oh, nice. Um, we have a special, how good we are is that we have a, a special department dedicated for research for every business. So um, by the time we are deploying a, a solution for you, you would be equipped with the very latest of industry technology all the time. Um, that is how good we are. We also provide very user-friendly um, software and applications, so they are not very difficult to man and operate. We don't just leave you with things that you do not understand. They are user-friendly for you. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that goes back to the question I asked you before we went on the break. We're going to ask her if they actually perform some kind of coaching session for their client. Now tell us, do you? Yes. Um, okay. For every business um, project that we undertake for a software solution to be deployed, we have um, a business analyst who bridges the gap between the customer and then um, shrink. What that means is that we study your day-to-day -day business processes and actually see what you need, make sure that we understand fully what you're asking for in terms of solution. So by the time we're done, you have an end-to-end -end, um, knowledge of exactly what we are bringing to your table. And you know how to use it because you spell it out for us. This is what I want. For example, we have a customer who brings in um, carpet artificial grass and what he um, is looking for is um, inventory mm -hmm. to keep stock to keep track and then also to be able to make reorder purposes whenever he is running out of stock so that he is constantly in stock um, he is looking for that so by because we have a business analyst he has spoken to and all of that by the time we deploy the solution for him he already knows what he is he has bought or what he has purchased and we have taken him through the processes we also have trained the trainer sessions where we train all the staff of the business um, um, with regards to the solution and the software okay so what you want to say is that for instance if i am a client who is maybe dealing in shoes yes and bags you know all the fancy things that women like to deal in exactly i deal in those things and i've got staff 
under me. Mm -hmm. You train me and you get to train my staff as well. Exactly. To be able to operate and actually make use of these solutions that you're providing for yes. me. Yes, and then we also streamline um, the processes for you. So you are able to go through a lot of steps um, at a click of a button so that it's user friendly. You don't have to go through a lot of steps. You know, sometimes you could be registering for um, a service and then at every time, every time you put in an information, another one pops up. Mm -hmm. So it's like the process is very long. We make that process very brief, very short and digitized for your business processes. That's amazing. <laughs> Impressive. Stark. Okay, so uh, does Stack offer any other kind of, you know, solution apart from what you've mentioned so far that you do? Is there any other thing you do at Stack as well? Okay, so um, Stack is actually one of our products at Shrink. Okay. And it is our baby for the year 2021. And um, it is an enterprise resource planning um, tool or software. What that means is that it brings all the various aspects of a business under one umbrella. So we're looking at payments and collections. We're looking at inventory. We're looking at finance. We're looking at document management. We're looking at customer relationship management. We're looking at HR. It brings all of those things under one umbrella so that um, there's effectiveness, there's consistency. You have real-time data of everything, no matter where you are. Wow, so somebody just walks into your company at Shrink and says, I want stack. That's how you, how you have to say it. Yes. If we want solutions around all what you just mentioned, you know, the customer service, and um, all that that you mentioned. Document management. And document yes. management. You just walk in and say you want stock. Yes. Okay, so we know a new term now. <laughs> okay, so just walk into Shrink and say you want stock, and they will give you all of the above, right? Yes. Um, okay. So um, you can actually break it down. Okay. Um, so like I said, stock is still an off-the-shelf product that is um, made specific for a business so we have the broad spectrum these are the um, solutions or the um, applications we are offering for your business but what do you need specifically for your business under inventory what do you want stack to do for your business mm -hmm. under inventory what do you want it to do for you under document management what do you want it to do for you under payments and collections under finance do you want re um, financial reports every day every week every month and um, those can be configured just for your business so even though it is um, a, um, an off-the-shelf product, mm -hmm. it is also tailor-made for businesses. Oh, so that's amazing. Um, it fits your business. We just don't take it and give it to you to go and not know how to work with it. Okay, I just want to go back to the research a little bit again. So when you say that you actually do research, is this research just for shrink or the research is for the brand that or the client? So for instance, in offering the solutions, do you do some more research to know how best to improve the services that you're offering the client? Is Always. that what you mean? Yes, oh. that is what we mean. So we do research for the client, we do research for stock, we do research for the brand um, to always give you the best. Um, you know, um, technology is growing, it's rapidly improving every single um, day. There is a new update, there's a new system and all of that. That is why we encourage um, our customers to also sign on to our maintenance um, portion of the deal whenever they are signing on. That means that we would constantly supply you with um, state-of-the-art um, industry updates consistently. So you are always, you don't buy the software and then after two years, it's obsolete. Okay. No. All right. So what you're encouraging clients right now is that after they've gotten that solution, they need to sign up to your maintenance solution as well. Yes. So that you keep updating them on what's new in yes. that aspect of the business. Exactly. So they are always up to date and they don't feel as if they need to get another solution um, in order to perform that particular task in their business because um, the update no longer allows you to do certain things or you feel, okay, I have this, but I think I want the other one. I want that other one because, um, well, it's up to standard. Well, 2021 now, we are doing this, so I feel like stock is obsolete. No. We keep you updated. We keep you abreast with all the industry um, later software. Oh, nice. Okay, so you know, one thing that a lot of people always lose sight of is data. People are gathering data all the time. 
but somehow for reasons beyond their control, they get to you know, lose this data. Do you offer a service that could help people back up their data? Yes, we do. So under Stack, um, we have a, a backup plan. Um, it can be done monthly, um, weekly, quarterly, and yearly. And it's a system automated, it's a completely automated system with specific times. For example, if we want to back up the data for ETV Ghana, mm -hmm. um, you give us a time, so like a downtime, let's say 1 a.m. And then every day or every week, um, at the end of the week at 1 a.m., there's a complete shutdown for the data to be backed up. After that, a system generates a report to give the status of the backup, if it was complete, if it was successful, if um, an issue occurred, so that um, you don't say I've backed up, so I don't need to check. Sometimes you can back up and then you were not able to back up. But then this backup comes with reports to the administrator of the software. So you're able to tell, okay, we were not able to back up last week's data. We need to work on that. Nice. Wow. You know, what I would like to really know is to find out from her if women are actually, you know, requesting this kind of business solution. Because what we do here with African Women's Voices Show is to empower you and to show you opportunities where they are and also get ways to get you to, you know, sign up or to even get yourself affiliated or for you to obtain the services of the people we keep bringing here. So we'll be very happy to know if we have women who are asking for these business solutions, but that is going to be after this break that I go for. <laughs> when we return, you let me know. So women, sure. please, I just hope that we are taking this solution. Let her not come back. Let me not come back. And then she tells me, no, women are not, you know, doing that. No, 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 no. So if that's going to be her response, please call Shrink right now. So that they know that women are calling them, okay? After this break, when we return, we'll find that out. Yeah, welcome back to ETV Ghana's African Women's Voices show. You know, Mother's Day is coming and uh, everyone is really looking out to celebrate one mother figure uh, in their life. And today we're going to be opening the phone lines. If you have a mother figure that you really respect so much, not your mother this time, a mother figure. So we have got steps in what we are doing. So if you have a mother figure who is not, somebody who is not biologically your mother, we would like you to give us a call and tell us the reason why you want to celebrate this person, you know, on Mother's Day. And we've got special prizes for people whose stories really touch the hearts of people. So um, the number of the studio is going to be put up on the screen right now. And uh, when you get the chance, please call through and let us know about this mother figure. Okay. And the number is 055 65 Seven, eight. Okay. So before we went on the commercial break, I said I was going to ask now, Yele, if women are actually, you know, seizing the opportunity to request for business solutions. Are women doing this? Okay. So at Shrink, um, we have dedicated ourselves to break that barrier mm -hmm. for women to be exposed to these um, softwares that actually make work more easy, more efficient for them. You know, it's only women that are asked, um, well, how do you balance it all? Work-life balance. Exactly. Women <laughs> are asked that question a thousand and one times. Exactly. And with these business solutions, it's one way of taking off that stress. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So um, we currently have um, um, a baby of a baby okay. called Starlight, which is um, going to be appealing to entrepreneurs. And it will be... Um, very simple, like an application. The way we pay for um, um, music on Spotify and the others, like subscription, Netflix and all. Mm -hmm. um, Stacklight is going to be that way. And it would be for en um, entrepreneurs and small businesses. Meaning I can just go on my Play Store, App Store, and then download Stacklight and then pick a solution that works for my business. So if I'm selling bags, or hair on Instagram, and I want a payment um, platform solution for my business so that I don't always have to go to the bank because um, to make a deposit, or I don't always have to give um, money, bulk money to my sales um, 
lady or my salesperson in the shop that, oh, hey, um, we've closed, so make sure you get to the bank early to deposit this. Mm -hmm. um, Starlight is here for you. It's here for female entrepreneurs. Um, and um, recent studies also show that 46% um, of um, private businesses are owned by women. Mm -hmm, true. So we are actually here for you. Um, we have all the solutions. Give us a call today. And I like, I like we what will you just make said. <laughs> tell us again that you're here for us. We tell are us here for you. <laughs> give us a call Thank today you. and we will make sure that we give you solutions that fit your business needs. Awesome. So talking about giving us a call, could you let our audience know you know, how to contact um, Shrink. Or okay. First of all, let us know where you're located. Okay, um, we are at East Legon, Main Pass, um, um, behind um, UPSA. Okay. Um, the Ayele building, just around that area. The Ayele area. building, <laughs> yes, okay. Yes. Just around that area. Um, you can also call us on 020-300-5507. Take the number again. again. Yes. 020-300-5507 or 055-7300-736. Awesome. Yes. So on, you know, what social media platforms can they also reach you? Because sometimes people feel like, okay, let me just go to this particular page to yes. be able to find you. So, so where do we, we go? So we are on um, t Twitter as um, shrink underscore. We are on Instagram as shrink underscore Ghana. And we are on LinkedIn as um, shrink Ghana. You can also reach us via email, info at shrinkghana.com or um, via our website, www.shrinkghana.com. Nice, okay. So have you got partners? For instance, like, you know, sometimes people are like, okay, um, if you're not able to come to Shrink, we need you to go to this partner. You know, do you have any kind of arrangement like that? Okay, we, mm -hmm. we have partners, but um, not to um, outsource um, our social, um, our software solutions. Mm -hmm. Our partners are um, for, third-party services in the application. For instance, and the payments and collections, mm -hmm. and the payment gateway that actually allows you to pay via Visa, uh, MasterCard, and then um, mobile money wallet. Yeah. Um, those are partners that we have um, a contract with. Um, bulk SMS, the telcos that give us the opportunity and the various companies that give us that opportunity to be able to run um, bulk SMS on 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 our platform so those are the partners we have but for solutions you need to come to us and we will help you yeah you know the reason why i'm asking that question is because sometimes somebody could just come out and say you know shrink we are their partners so come and buy or come and purchase our software solution that's not it shrink has not got any kind of partner like that if you want your business solution to be done for you kindly go straight to shrink if you find any partner, it's on third party purposes. Yes. That's it? Yes. So, no partner that is going to be offering the same service that Shrink is offering. No. Just go to Shrink by the phone numbers, okay? All right. So, I want to announce the number again for whoever wants to celebrate that one mother figure who is not uh, his or her biological mother, but the person feels like this woman deserves all the accolades. The number again is 0555. Six five five seven. All right, thank you very much. Um, please, I want to take this message from Christian Connect, and it says that deep discussions on biblical teachings, the latest news from the gospel music industry, Bible quizzes, updates on trending Christian movies are the order of the day on the Christian Connect show on ETV Ghana every Sunday at 4 p.m. Hosted by seasoned journalist Paul Anumakodye, the Christian Connect show will also highlight key places in the Bible and also give viewers and churches the opportunity to share their church news and event information. Tune in every Sunday and watch the Christian Connect show with Paul Anumakodye only on ETV Ghana and Channel 177 and 815 on Go TV. ETV Ghana, your world of quality entertainment. So now, Yeli, now that we know where and how to contact Shrink, um, I just want you to let us know if there are any kind of misconceptions around business solutions that are out there that we need to educate our audience, you know, uh, around. If there's any, please let us know. Um, we have quite a few um, in my um, attempt to market and let people know about um, 
software solutions, we have encountered a few. Mm -hmm. um, there are people that think that for a software to be good, it needs to be expensive out of this world. Mm -hmm. No. That's not true. No. At Shrink, we work with your budgets to give you what you need. Um, that is something that we pride ourselves in. Wow, so we you give value for money. Value so when for we get money, to see hence our name Shrink. Nice. We don't only shrink your problems, but okay. we also shrink the value of the money that comes with it. Wow, wow. <laughs> now I understand the name better, Shrink. Yeah. Okay, so you work with the budget and then you give the person the best that budget can you know, you know, offer. Yes, yes. Oh, nice. So uh, if somebody is telling you about a software solution and is giving you some kind of prize that's out of the world, you need to think twice. Just because it comes as expensive, it does not mean that it's the best or it's what you need. So just know that sometimes uh, that's not the best. So contact Shrink and they will help you with your budget and give you the best that it can offer, okay? So any other misconception out there that we need to know about? Um, yes, people also think that um, when they hear software solutions, they think that, okay, um, what the software solutions that um, big corporations are using is what they must use for their small businesses. Okay. Um, you need to look at what you are looking for, what, solu um, what solution you want for your problem mm -hmm. um, for that business so that you can make an informed decision when getting a software solution. You can't always opt for... You can go and actually buy that expensive one that belongs to that huge corporation that you think is the best. Mm -hmm. But it's not, if it's not suiting your business need, then you're wasting your time, you're wasting your resources yeah. and your money. That's not the best. Yeah. Okay, I have another message here from Springboard Hangout. Comfort Okran is live on ETV Ghana in partnership with the Springboard Roadshow Foundation. Uh, we bring you the Springboard Hangout Show, which is hosted by Comfort Okran on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. The Springboard Hangout is an interactive youth development show aimed at equipping the youth to remain relevant in this fast-paced and technology-driven world. Tips on entrepreneurship, how to have multiple income streams, Finance investment will be shared in a fun-filled way. Watch the Springboard Hangout Show hosted by Comfort Okran every Sunday at 5 p.m. only on ETV Ghana and channels 177 or 815 on GoTV. ETV Ghana, your world of quality entertainment. Okay, so I have another message here and uh, I really will not want to lose track of that message and that is from... Um, the Gong Gong Bitter Gang of uh, ETV. So now, uh, season two of the hilarious Gong Gong Bitter show is finally here. Starting on the 1st of May, 2021 on ETV Ghana. It is hosted by a teen comedian, Ar Araba Atta, that's her name. So if you didn't know her in season one, okay, no problem. Season two is here, so you get to meet Araba Atta, who is a teen comedian. And uh, the Gong Gong Bitter show is aired on Saturdays at 8 p.m bringing you the latest juicy and hilarious trending stories from Ghana. Current affairs packaged and delivered in a comedy format can only be found on the Gong Gong Vita Show. Tune in and get to laugh out loud with the rest of Ghana whenever you watch the Gong Gong Vita Show with Araba Atta every Saturday at 8 p.m. only on ETV Ghana and Channel 177 and 815 on GoTV. It's always coming to you on ETV Ghana, your world of quality entertainment. Okay, I see a message here from people on Facebook. And um, um, I see a message from Kojo Danso. He says, after this interview, I'm certainly going to shrink. Thank you, now. And I'm seeing Akwele Amenya. She's watching and she's sending her wave. I see that Naomi Quake, who also has joined and is watching and sending us a wave. And uh, we have Evelyn Sefakor-Wula, who is saying, uh, I want to get the contact number again for Shrink. Okay, let me give it to you. So 059-547-4079. 059-547-4079. So if you do not get the contact number of Shrink, please, this is the number to call, okay? And Aquile says, wow, love your hair, Mrs. Tony. An interesting discussion. Well, this hair is probably put together by our woo's hair. So you need to find her on Facebook and Instagram, and she will definitely sort you out. Okay, so um, 
I have more messages coming and tripping in, but we would have to take leave of you because, I mean, the show has got to wrap up. But the repeat broadcast is brought to you on Saturdays at 12 noon, okay? And if you've missed it, no problem. You watch on Saturday. You could also watch it on Facebook at ETV Ghana or also on our YouTube page. So we've made it very easy for you to be able to access this content any time and any day. If you need the phone number again, just go on our Facebook page, you'll find it there. I need you to tell me the story of what happened when you went to shrink, okay? Tell me, and also as part of what you want to do to help that mother figure in your life. Uh, see what a shrink solution can do. Maybe there's this business she's doing and you feel like, okay, she's so stressed up, I want to do something. So for Mother's Day, get her to you know, link herself up to shrink for a business solution. What do you think? Wonderful, right? Okay, ah, it's been a wonderful time, and I want to say a very big thank you to my sponsors, Afariwa Styles. Thank you for making me look good. Liz's Tomato Mix, thank you so much. Chana Sheta, oh, marvelous. Thank you. And I was here. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. So do enjoy the rest of our interesting lineup for you on ETV. Bye-bye.